In China, the ancient Zhou dynasty was crumbling. Political power lay with large local landowners who formed the noble and warrior classes of a feudal system. These warlords constantly fought each other, while the peasant farmers, the vast majority of the people, struggled to survive under conditions of heavy taxation and frequent violence. Perhaps in response to this chaos, two great Chinese masters emerged, Lao Tzu and Confucius. Both were concerned with how people should conduct themselves and how states should be governed. Lao Tzu, the founder of Taoism, advised his followers to reject the world's instability by turning away from it. For Lao Tzu, the ideal life is one of simplicity and quiet, lived in harmony with nature. The ideal government would interfere in people's lives as little as possible. Governing a large country is like frying a small fish. You spoil it with too much poking. Confucius suggested a different path. He advised active but scrupulously moral and humane involvement in worldly matters. The ancients who wished to illustrate the highest virtue first ordered well their own states. Wishing to order well their states, they first regulated their families. Wishing to regulate their families, they first cultivated their own selves. Wishing to cultivate their own selves, they first rectified their hearts.